The weekend box office report came in yesterday, and Crazy Rich Asians took the number one spot again. That's cool. That's, that's good. What is stunning is the kind of second week that it had. Now, what you want to see in your second weekend is around a 50% drop. You don't want to get into that 60% and heaven forbids you have a 70% drop. But normally, you know, if you take between a 45 and 50% drop on your second week, that's considered pretty good going from week one to week two. Going from week two to three, three to four, four to five, those are different numbers. But going from weekend one, your opening weekend to your second weekend, you consider it a pretty good day. If you drop between 45 and 50%, that's considered pretty good. Well, Crazy Rich Asians kicked the hell out of that. Check this out. Crazy Rich Asians came in number one at the weekend box office again, taking in $25 million. Look at the drop it took. Just 5.7%. That's not 57%. That's That little dot is not a typo. It only took a 5.7% drop. That, pardon the pun, is crazy rare. That is extremely rare. I mean, the studios are throwing parties if they take like a 30% drop from week one to week two. A 5.7% drop is outstanding. And it's a testament to the fact that people are going out to see this movie and they're enjoying the movie and they're going back to watch it and they're taking other people with them. It is crazy word of mouth because this movie does never had the biggest marketing campaign. It's never had the biggest marketing campaign. It's never had a huge marketing push. It's had a decent one, but nothing exceptional. And the fact that you're seeing this type of a minute drop from week one to week two is a testament to the fact that people are going back again. They're telling their friends to go see it and their friends are listening. And a $25 million second weekend drop is absolutely amazing. Now, I myself, I like Crazy Rich Asians. I think it's a nice, uh, charming, funny little film. I recommend seeing it. I don't think it's great. It's a little bit paint by numbers as far as rom-coms go. So I don't think it's great, but I think it's good. And I give it a recommendation, but apparently people are really enjoying it because they're going out in droves. Let's run down the rest of the top five here. Coming in at number two is the Meg. The Meg doing much better than everybody thought it would. It took in another $13 million. Happy Time Murders comes in at number three, not doing as badly as some feared it might, taking in $10 million in the three spot in its opening weekend. Mission Impossible Follow continues to truck along at $8 million. And Disney's Christopher for Robin rounds out the top five, making another $6.3 million. So again, Crazy Rich Asians doing just stupid good business at the box office. Well done for them.